if the Briere Ronde take such good care of their swamp, it's because it's been their personal property since the time of Louis XVI. They've made the best possible use of the marsh's resources. The exploitation of reeds was once the chief occupation, useful for thatching cottages and for making mattresses and bedding. They also extracted peat and raised livestock. Cattle and horses took over the meadows in the spring when the waters receded. Since the beginning of the century, as the Brieron can no longer subsist on this poor land, they have turned to related industries. Why then do they continue to navigate the endless canals and reed beds which seemingly have nothing more to offer them? The answer comes from the sky. Located along the great migratory paths, the swamps represent a location of international importance for aquatic birds. Now a regional nature preserve, it accommodates large colonies of wintering ducks and waders, herons, mallards, teals, louts and coots. 250 species of birds can be found in the Grande Briere. Using lookout points hidden among the reeds, we can finally discover the secret life of the swamp. During the day, the ducks prefer the tranquility of large stretches of water, such as the estuaries, but food is scarce there. That is why they return to the swamps in the evenings. The lush carpet of vegetation supports enough mollusks, shellfish and insects to satiate them. Proud of the heritage which they have preserved, the Brierons have begun to promote the unique quality of their region to the tourist industry. Although it can't be reflected in any of the stretches of water, the sun has left its mark on this place. The small Spanish town of Tabernas seems lost on the edge of the continent. This is Andalusia, the colorful region of southern Spain. And yet, Tabernas presents a different picture. Not the town itself, but the immensity of the 12,000 hectare subdesert to which it is the gateway. The Tabernas Desert might seem at home in other latitudes, but for Europe, this region is unique. The desert landscapes invariably bring cowboy movies to mind, a fact that has not escaped the attention of Italian film producers 
who have found that they could shoot their westerns without shipping their crews across the Atlantic.